Hey everyone, Russell here from Greenfoot Energy Solutions and today I'm gonna to show you how to use your new LG ductless mini split heat pump. After installation, operation of the outdoor unit is minimal. However, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. Heat pumps work by moving air over coils containing refrigerant. So it's really important to maintain that airflow around the unit itself. So that means sometimes in those winter months after a big winter storm, you may need to shovel and remove any obstructions or blockages that may occur around the unit. Special note, if you do see ice or frost building up in those coils, that's completely normal. Just leave it. Uh, don't try to chip it away or remove it as you could damage the coils and void your warranty. The other thing you'll need to make sure is that there's no blockage or obstruction in that condensate drain. See, condensation forms on the interior unit and that water needs to go somewhere. If you have a blockage or an obstruction, that water can back up into the home and cause some water damage. Well, that's it for the outside unit. Let's head inside and I'll show you some of the basic functions of the remote. Your LG ductless mini split is controlled using this remote. So it's worth it to take some time to get to know what the buttons are, how it functions in order to get the maximum amount of heating and cooling from your unit. After putting in the batteries, you should notice on the front screen some display. You'll see a time and a battery indicator on the top. You can adjust the time immediately by just moving the set buttons up and down at the bottom of the remote and click set to confirm the time. The most obvious button is the orange power button, front and center. Let's turn on your heat pump by directing the remote at the indoor unit and pressing the power button. Immediately you will see the set temperature and the function in which the unit is in. On the right hand side you will see fan speed as well. Comfort air is a button you can press which just directs the air either horizontally or vertically. You'll see that indicated by the flap icon. Press it again and it will move it to the other direction. The light off button simply turns the light on the head on or off. This is useful if it's in your room, if you're trying to sleep and you do not want to see the display. The mode button cycles through the various modes that you can put your unit in. The snowflake indicates cooling. A is automatic, which we don't recommend in our climate since the shoulder seasons can see drastic swings in temperature that can result in the unit heating and cooling both in the same day. Dry, this function is used when you want to dehumidify the air. Heating, indicated by the sun icon. And fan only, which is just used as a regular house fan. Below the power buttons are the set temperature buttons. Press these to increase or decrease the set temperature by one degree increments. Press the fan speed button to adjust the fan to your desired speed. The blinking fan speed indicates a natural wind pattern, which ramps up and down the fan speeds to simulate more of a natural wind. The energy saving button can be pressed to make sure the unit uses the least amount of energy to achieve the set temperature. Conversely, if you want to get the room temperature to the set temperature as quickly as possible, use the jet mode. The swing buttons can be used to adjust the direction of the airflow in the room. Press the flap up and down button to change the direction incrementally or to swing back and forth automatically. Additionally, you can control the direction left and right. Also, you can set it to be automatic, swinging left and right. The room temperature button can be pressed to display the temperature at the remote. This is important to know because it's not the same temperature that can be found at the head or the temperature that is set. These buttons control the up and down temperature that you desire the room to be at. This temperature is simply the temperature at this remote. Think of it as a thermometer and it can be used in any room to take the temperature of that particular space. Below these buttons are various functions that can differ depending on the model that you have. Go ahead and consult your owner's manual to learn more about this. Another way to control your LG heat pump, even remotely, is using an app. You can go onto your app store and download the Think app, which will help you control your heat pump in all of the same ways that your remote will, just with a different interface. Well, we hope this video has been helpful for you. If you'd like to learn more about this or any other energy efficient products and services that we offer, go ahead and check out our website, or you can give us a call to speak to an energy advisor. And remember, start small, think big, 
and keep living the Greenfoot lifestyle. Yeah.